President Macron is an ENA graduate himself. Um, but what he wants to do is change the whole system of training France's top civil servants, politicians and business leaders. Because ENA takes fewer than 100 students a year and the entrance exam is so academically difficult that in practice it's reserved to students from upper class backgrounds who've been to France's best schools. And so Mr Macron wants to diversify that and I think he also wants to have a good look at the curriculum as well and make sure that uh, the people who are going to be in positions of power and influence have more practical training because the average age of an ENA graduate is about 26 and ENA gives them a passport to the upper echelons of the civil service or politics or business but many of them go into senior jobs with little or no practical experience and Mr Macron first suggested closing it in 2019, a year after the Yellow Vest protests began. Now, the anger that Mr Macron saw erupting onto France's streets during those protests focused his mind on the need to increase social mobility, which he says has gone backwards over the past 50 years. Another factor is that France's painful struggle with COVID and its sluggish vaccine rollout has exposed bureauc excessive bureaucracy in French public administration. Also, Mr Macron's facing re-election next year and he doesn't want to go into the election as the elitist candidate facing a populist uh, far-right leader, Marine Le Pen, who may be his main opponent, and so he wants to uh, take action to show that he's not just president of the rich and the elite, he's also the president for ordinary people, because his critics often accuse him of being remote and out of touch and lacking a common touch.